Okay, <clears throat> I've seen a couple of uh, posts uh, over the last couple of weeks and or months uh, about wanting to completely remove the autofocus stick. Is that a good idea? Is that a bad idea? I'll let you decide. For me, more importantly, it is more important for every user at my recommendation, this is my opinion, my recommendation is to have every user move the autofocus stick up as far as it will go. This is important for a couple of reasons. Most importantly, if this autofocus stick hits a piece of material or it comes into the edge of, you know, when it travels down here and it's coming across an edge of a warp sheet, it's going to catch it. Not only is it going to move your material, but it could also cause your laser head to jam. We all know that's bad. So <clears throat> let's, um, Let's talk about how to do this. So first off, I made this little jig. It just uh, it's a rectangle with uh, half millimeter increment jumps. Uh, this is used to find where your focus is set at. Some machines come with this. Mine mine does not. Um, so I had to make my own, and this is what I came up with. It's just a rectangle, um, and it works for me. Uh, you can pretty easily make one of these in light burn, no big deal, and cut it out before you start this process. So. Um, for me, uh, 18 millimeter lens, 18 millimeters to the cone, and that's perfect. So it doesn't fall down, that's great. Now, <clears throat> you're going to need to be able to undo this Allen wrench, or Allen screw with an Allen wrench, and then you're going to move the tube up as far as you can. It's very important to get the tip of the pen tube slightly below the end of the cone. And that's all you need to do. And then once you've got it set to the, the, the low end of the cone, uh, you can check it with this if you'd like to make sure that you know, you're good there. And what's most important is this doesn't go in all the way. You still have like a full millimeter, millimeter and a half. So if you're slightly over like I am, it's not really the end of the big of a deal, but ideally try to keep the end of the pen tube just below the cone. Um, <clears throat> And then once you've got that set, we'll need to do a machine config setting to change the retraction height. So when it comes down and it pushes, it finds the material. How far does it go back up to keep you in focus using your jig? So let's go do that now. Uh, let me escape out of this and I'll show you where in a menu it is. So menu, I'll try to keep you out of the glare here. Parameter settings, enter key. We're going to move over to machine configuration and then this this very bottom number here i've got mine set to retract an additional eight and a half millimeters so this was set to zero from the factory so i gained eight and a half millimeters of additional clearance that's the important part here so that's that's how much you're going to gain so what's that uh three eighths of an inch roughly uh 12 and 12.7 uh millimeters is a half inch so do the math yourself. Uh, better part, better part of a half inch, not quite. Um, and then once you've got that set, you hit right, and then you're good to go. I'm just going to back out because I've already got it set. And then you'll do a focus, and then you'll come check this again to make sure that you're 18 or whatever number you've got set. Um, you know, every machine may cut slightly different, um, but whatever whatever digit you've got set. If it fits in there just like that where it won't fall, but you can get it in there without any kind of struggle, then you're good to go. That's how you move the autofocus stick up. It's very important, not only for you not hitting material, because that's not good. Safety, if it gets jammed, uh, obviously it could start a fire. Uh, and thirdly, just a general user's experience, keeping this out of your way, not hitting stuff, not having to learn that lesson the hard way, be beneficial to you all the way around. So. If you have any questions, hit them in the comments and I'll get with you shortly.